Hi guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply 88. Today we have for you a 1998 Trailies DHT 8048 hydraulic folding tail trailer with the hydraulic 8 foot mini ramp to go to the top deck. This trailer is in good condition. The paint's weathered from setting, but this is not a typical rust bucket rotted out trailer like you normally see on the internet and, and stuff that guys are normally selling. Yes, the paint's weathered, but it's that typical trailer. We own one of these trailers ourselves. Ours is white also, and every little place the chains hit, it just makes a mark on it, and the white paint chips off, unlike a black or any other color. This trailer, uh, the main purpose of this video today is to give you a 360 degree view of the trailer. We have it hooked here to our Kenworth, uh, to our wet line system, and we are going to show that the tail works, the mini deck works, and the winch works. Uh, we'll collapse the air ride for you to show you how that works, but the main thing is to show you that it isn't a piece of junk. So at this time, we're going to go ahead and start walking you around this trailer. Up front here, first off, we'll show you the serial plate of the trailer. It is a Trailies 1998, and it is a DHT. 8048, which means it's an 80,000 pound trailer or 40 ton trailer, or a lot of these are 35. This trailer uh, does run off a wet line. Um, all the lights work. Brakes are in excellent condition, also, the drums. Um, trailer does have chain boxes on both sides. Um, that are hinged and you can put chains and binders in. Uh, the trailer also does have another nice feature. It has a two foot ramp extension on the front of the deck where you can pull a pin if you had a truck that, it, that you wanted to get hung out over the front so you could go out over top of the winch to gain some uh, two foot of space you can do that. This trailer does have a um, ten foot top deck boards on the top deck are getting a little rough. They'll need to replace coming up. You could use it the way it is, but we're just telling you that. Again, then it has a 38 foot bottom deck with an 8 foot mini deck that hydraulically raises so that you can get from the lower deck to the top deck without any ramps or anything. It's all self-contained in the trailer. Moving on back here, you'll see this trailer also has many stake pockets down the side. And then in between here, this is something Trailies done. They have a um, basically flat steel welded here so that you can slip a chain hook in here or a binder hook to keep in place also for places where it falls odd on the trailer. You'll see here it has an air uh, collapse system for your airbag. Uh, it is a full air ride trailer, uh, so get your deck height down when you're loading so it's not as steep. The trailer is setting on 22 feature our own trailers on 22.5 rubber and I wouldn't own anything else. Um, the guys that are running them little 17.5 tires they get so hot and they blow apart. Uh, the 22.5 is a much better ride and it, it just handles the weight much better. Uh, the trailer does have three chrome rims and uh, one painted uh, silver steel rim. We're just pointing that out. The back deck does have the steel grip on it. Uh, our trailer has this. It's really nice for loading rubber tired stuff. When it's wet, it really grips to it. Um, a nice thing. Here on the back, it has the keyhole cutouts for chaining. There is some normal surface rust on the back. There's no holes. There's no rot through anything like that. We're just pointing it out. Um, the trailer could use painted coming up. We've checked under the cross members. The cross members on this trailer still have the factory black paint up under them. They're in nice shape and they're not all rotted out, anything like that. You can see here on this side we have one chrome rim here and one painted steel rim here. We're just pointing that out also. There's no welds or brakes on the main beam, anything of that nature. Um, you'll see here where a chain come down and just rub the decal off on the trailies. Uh, there was one little, for some reason, weld here. Uh, we're just pointing that out. Yeah, I'm going to grab the camera off the camera guy here real quick and we'll take you under and we'll show you. Here it has the drop pin legs uh, on both sides. You can see up underneath here that is still the factory original black paint. The cross members, like we said, are not ate out. Uh, up in here, you know, normally I've seen them where they're just all rusted up and there's nothing left. 
Uh, kingpin's in nice shape. It pulls tight against our truck. Um, we'll get you up underneath here. You can see there is some just scale, but there's no holes in the cross members. It's still real nice and straight. Uh, the trailer isn't pouring any oil out of it. We'll just walk you down through here real easy. And the big reason we are taking the time to shoot this video is just to show you actually what, what is here and what you're getting. Um, a lot of guys don't do this. We try to go the extra mile to show everybody what, what's up. So I'm going to go ahead and hand the camera back here. At this time then, uh, we're going to move to the other side. Uh, we're going to start the truck, engage the wet line, and we'll uh, show everything work. You can see underneath here, it's not all raw today, rusted up. The cylinders are in good shape, they're not leaking. Um, there was no cross members under here. You can still see the paints on. I mean, the black, so you can see the black paint. We're not saying it's brand new, but in here it's still nice. Um, we use this on our trailer all the time, and it's a really, really nice thing to have. We'll go ahead and fold that back down. You can see underneath here, uh, there still is paint on there, and like we said, there is some rust scale, but it's not rotted out, rusted up, piece of junk. Um, none of the cylinders are leaking, the lock and latch system works fine, um, and you can see here, if get the camera guy to get that real quick, you can see the air ride is dropping, just like it's supposed to, uh, and like we said, none of the cylinders are pouring oil or anything like that. Uh, it's not welded up, busted up. The hinge is nice and tight in both ends. Um, back here on the trailer is anything we're going to show you that, that, that will need some attention coming up. This, this has come loose. The grip guard has come loose from here. Our trailer done the same thing and we had to have it fixed. Um, but it still lays down nice and flat and, and that kind of thing. So I'm going to go ahead at this time, drop the tail clear on the ground for you. Uh, there's no gaps in between here. Uh, you can walk up on here. The 
see that the hinge has not been repaired anywhere. Uh, is in nice shape. Um, this will give you a, a close up on the top of the deck so you can see. The main deck boards are still in good condition. We're going to go ahead and fold the tail back up and put the air back It's a very affordable trailer. Uh, you know, you guys know what these trailers are new today. They're, they're pushing the $65,000 price range. Uh, Landall, Trailies, Leadwell, none, none of those guys are giving them away uh, to price of steel and stuff. But this trailer is not rusted out piece of junk. We want everybody to understand that. It's why we took the time to shoot the video. We had it hooked to our tractor, uh, and you can see that it works. So we like to take the extra time here at Mark Supply 88 to take out all the guesswork for everybody. So um, if you would like to come see this trailer in person, you're more than welcome to. If you need more photos, just ask. We'll be glad to help you. Uh, for transportation on this trailer or for freight, there is a company out in Indiana that they do nothing but sell power, they call it. Uh, we had actually bought a trailer like this out of the state, um, had it shipped in from them. They'll actually come here, hook onto it, we will guarantee that all the lights and stuff will work whenever it leaves here uh, and they will pull this trailer from my location to your destination uh, at very reasonable rates and we are very happy at their service. Uh, I will either have a phone number posted for them to call or you can call us and we'll be glad to get you a quote on transporting this trailer at no cost to you. Uh, and again, if you want to come see this trailer in person, you're more than welcome to. We'll hook it to our tractor and you can play with it. That's no problem at all. So if you have any questions, please call Mark or Nick at Mark Supply 88 at 814-658-3066. This trailer also will come with a clear, clean Pennsylvania title. Uh, we, we hold the title to it. So again, 814-658-3066. Ask for Mark or Nick. Thanks for checking out Mark Supply 88. Happy eBay.